Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my finale for my roulette pan collab that was created by Rebecca Morgan and Lexi here on YouTube. I am so excited about this uh, finale. I've had so much fun. I will link the playlist as well as the categories in the description bar below. Although it's ending, there's going to be a new round in February 15th, I think. That's uh, when they said it's going to start. They will have brand new categories but for me i haven't really gone through everything so i think i'm just going to continue with the remaining numbers all right so the past month was successful it's all this this project has been very successful for me i think because i chose a bit like easier products but also i was just more focused and i was really trying my hardest to uh try and hit my goal I'm sorry about my flyaways, my hair is a mess today, I've just been having some period pains and whatnot, so I'm a mess. <laughs> Alright, so let me just first go through the products that I was working on since last time. Alright, so for the categories that I've met my goal on, uh, we have prompt number 25, a product you would only buy on sale, and what I chose was this Versace Yellow Diamond Perfumed Body Lotion. So as you guys can see, it is completely done. This was brand new when I first put it uh, last time and I just used it on my arms a few times and it was completely done. So although I put this into this category, I was talking about the perfume itself more than the lotion. The lotion consistency and the smell itself was not something I'm a big fan of after I've used it. But I don't know, if it came in a kit, I wouldn't mind buying it and my nails i'm sure you guys have seen it's very summery <laughs> i did self-tan a few days ago and i decided to just like put on some summer nail polish because i just i need some i need some warmth in me <laughs> but this is just going to be on for a few days i have my best friend's wedding in a few days and i'm definitely going to change my nails for that and i'm really excited for that but anyways this is gone this category is complete and it wasn't really that hard and then for prompt number 41 we have a limited edition item and i chose a lip gloss from my poop art palette and i I think this is limited edition because I can't find it anywhere online and it was part of like a holiday kit, I think. So I'm gonna insert a picture of where I was before and this is where I am now. I mean, it's completely done, but I'm sorry it's a bit messy. I didn't really clean it up, but yeah. I'm so happy seeing all these empty pans. Uh, at the beginning of 2019, this was completely full. This entire palette was completely brand new. I hadn't used it a single bit, and this is where I stand currently. I just put them into project pans and stuff, and yeah, I'm really happy with where I am with this palette right now. And then for prompt number 36, a product from NYX, I went with this NYX Lo Love. <laughs> this NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade can and my goal is just to be able to use it until i need to take out the stopper and i've success success <laughs> successfully done that i think so as you can see the wand looks very clean there's not a lot of product sticking to the wand itself and i don't want to take out the stopper yet but this was another successful product and it that i completed my goal on so i think i've completed three out of my six goals uh I, the next two i was super close uh let's start with the rimmel oh let's start with uh prompt number 34 something underrated and i chose this rimmel scandalize um liner in the shade nude i think let me just show you guys where I am on the sheet of paper that I marked. My goal for these two products were to just use them 15 times. I was so close, but I think I'll call it a goal met because I am filming this uh, two, three days earlier and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be using it two more times. I've only used this 13 times, so I'm two, two uh, times shy from hitting my goal. So. I guess it's kind of successful. If I align the bottom of the pencil, this is how much progress I've made. And that's a huge amount of progress in my book personally. 
For the past few years that I've had this, I barely used this and then I've got the most amount of use in the past year alone and that just makes me happy. And, it, and this is in my year-long project pan, so I'm not really worried about it. It's kind of, I feel like it's kind of going old now, so I really want to get this done and out of my collection, but I'm really happy with my progress. Oh, there's a little parrot outside my window. That is so cute. So anyways, and then from prompt number 39, we have a colorful eyeliner and I chose this unknown, unnamed uh, eyeliner. This was actually a lip liner, but it's a bit too dry for my lips. So I decided to just use it on my eyes and I have used this a total of 10 times. So this is my progress right here. As you can see, I've made probably the same amount of progress as on my um, Rimmel liner, which is really good for me. I'm not unhappy. I, I'm i glad I made this much progress. Using it 10 times is still good enough. The past few times though, I've used it on my inner, um, on my lower lash line and I've loved it that way on my more pink uh, smoky eye looks and I feel like it looks really beautiful like that. Usually I just use it as a winged pink liner and it was great that way but I think I really like using it on my lower lash line as well and I'm probably going to get a lot more use out of it in the future that way. And then last but not least for prompt number 38, something you're afraid to pan, I chose my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Elixir. <sighs> This is the second time I've been putting this shade into my roulette pan collab and it was a complete fail again. I knew it, I'm not gonna be successful. As you can see from my previous update, it's still quite a good amount of use. I think I've used it more than 15 times in the past month, but I just need the tiniest amount and this is in my year-long project pan as well. I, I'm just sick and tired of this. I'm sick and tired of Super Shock Shadows. I don't think I'm ever going to buy them anymore. I much prefer their um, just basic palettes. I think it's a bit more easier to pan. And I don't think they last as long on my eyelids. But yeah. I have way too many Super Shock Shadows for me to be using this for an entire year and it not being done. Alright guys, so that was all for my update for the finale. So in this roulette round, I have worked on 15 categories in total and I was successful in, me in meeting my goals on 12 of them and I'm so happy about that. I'm going to insert pictures over here of all the previous ones. I'm just going to go through them real quick just to um, just to mention them one last time and show you guys what I finished off if you haven't seen my previous updates. So we had prompt number three, a product in loose form, and I finished off my Makeup Forever loose powder. And then we had prompt number seven, a product you haven't used in a while. And I just had to hit pan on my Manicadar shadow in the shade Fantasy. And for prompt number 11, we have a product you don't like. And I had to finish the Evine Repair Cream, which in the end I didn't really mind, but it wasn't something I'm going to ever repurchase. And for prompt number 14, we had a product you would rec recommend to anyone. And I chose the Body Shop Moringa hand cream and I had to finish that off, which I did. It was a really good hand cream. It was really soft. I took it traveling with me and I loved it. I do have a few more in my collection that I will definitely be using up um, sometime soon. And then we had prompt number 20, a product you don't reach for enough. And I just had to hit pan on my Elizabeth Matte Bronzer which took forever to do. I mean, I had been working on that for an entire year until I have been, finally managed to uh, hit pan on it in this project. And then for prompt number 22, a product you love, I decided to try and hit pan in the green shade in the Naked Cosmetics palette. And then for prompt number 44, we had a hair care item and I had to finish four mini conditioners that was pretty much equal to a full size. 
And for prompt number 46, an item out of a subscription box, I just wanted to finish my Tarte Tartist mascara, which I did. And for prompt number 47, we had a product you are currently loving. And that was my mini and watch facial mo moisturizer, which was just beautiful and super expensive. And that is all for all the previous items that I had finished. I will definitely link them down uh, in the description bar below if I can find them. And I hope you guys enjoyed my videos. I will also put down the link to my playlist for my project pans from this year as well as my previous years. I'm starting a ton of new projects. I hope you guys stick around. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!